we're obviously massively looking forward to the Talchon Cup um, in London. Um, it'll obviously be interesting to see how the, the new format works um, and kind of how it pans out over the next couple of weeks and months. But for us, I suppose it gives it gives us a chance to have more competitive games um, in latter stages of competitions, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it gives Division 3 and 4 teams a chance maybe to compete in like a quarterfinal or a semifinal where they historically might not have been able to do so. Um, so yeah, I think that can that can only be good for the teams around us um, and for ourselves. Um, the draw, I suppose it's it's a tough draw for us being in the northern side of it and looking at some of the teams there. I'm not sure if there's any easier draw or if there's a harder draw. I don't think we we could have um we could have been looking out for anybody. I think everybody probably wanted us, but yeah, tough draw for us. They obviously gave us a bit of a clipping in the league, but yeah, we've um we've a couple of wrongs to put right, I think, um, and we'd be looking for um a better performance than we than we showed of ourselves in the league, I think. We've played a number of times over the last couple of years between league and championship. Uh, we played them obviously earlier in the league this year. We I suppose got one over them that day, and they'll be I suppose out for revenge of uh, some sorts in uh, in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, no, look, 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 looking forward to playing them. A couple of Sligo lads involved with their panel as well. So yeah, look, we're we're well used to them as they are to us. Done a bit of homework on them for that league game, and I suppose likewise, um, and then drawing them in the Talchon Cup as well. I suppose yeah, there is that bit of familiarity. Whereas we could have drawn a team that that we'd never come up against, or that might not have been in like a Connacht Championship that we'd end up playing every couple of years. Um, they've probably gotten the better of us in the last couple of years. Although London, I think their their last Championship win or in around two thousand and thirteen, they had a result against Sligo. So hopefully that's kind of what we're that's sort of the team that we're looking to to mirror and try and get a decent result ourselves. Well, they're definitely not taken for granted at all anymore. I think pushed everyone close this year. I think they picked up three wins as well. They were top of the table at the start and they were they were, you know, one of the favourites nearly for promotion at one stage halfway through the league. So no look they're not a, they're definitely not a pushover anymore. They're they're taking wins now regularly. So yeah, we'll have to be have to be on top for a game to, to beat them. Travel is obviously tough. Um management do try and make it as easy for us as possible. Like we've kind of our own training base where we're set for um pretty much most of the year and then otherwise We'd have some sessions like an in-house game or maybe coming up to a championship game, then we'd have um run outs in Rice Slip. Um, but yeah, I mean we've lads coming from all across London, like from the east side of London to down south as well. And like as good as the public transport system is, it's not equal kind of across the city. So yeah, def like as as the crow flies, it probably might not be short or like it might not be a long distance. But then by the time you're getting a bus or a train or you're catching a lift from somewhere, some lads have like an hour and a half to travel to train in one way and then they're doing that on the way back. So yeah, it does, I suppose it kind of tests your commitment in a way and that you're doing it twice a week and then maybe a gym session during the week and you're probably doing it on a weekend as well. Um, and then factor in, I suppose, the away games, your whole weekend is pretty much gone of travelling by the time you're up and you get to the airport and you're on the flight and you're hanging around the airport and you fly and then you're getting a bus to and from hotels into the game and then kind of the reverse on the way back home so your whole weekend is pretty much gone for an away game um so yeah the travel is is definitely a, a unique thing over here that you probably wouldn't encounter as much at home we're hoping to be here in in a couple of weeks time in a semi-final like um and yeah as if we get to semi-final that can happen but yeah look it's, it's extra games for ourselves um, I suppose I'm around a, a number of years now, and I haven't had a whole pile of championship games. Like I wouldn't even be up in the up in the twenties at all yet. So there's an opportunity here this year to get maybe four, five, six championship games if if, if we can get to the latter stages. Yeah, so that's it's, it's definitely the carrot for ourselves. It'll be a massively physical game. I think that's probably one of one of Sligo's big uh, big strengths, just their their sheer physicality in terms of what they bring to the tackle and their intensity of their running. But then also when they move the ball inside, they move it quickly and they get their scores on the ball. So it should be an entertaining game. Um, we've kind of kind of set our stall out in the league and tried to uh, stick to our way of playing. So hopefully we can implement that as well. And hopefully we'll we'll have a fair crack at each other. Two wins away from, from Crow Park from a semi-final here. And uh, that'll definitely be the... 
we'll be hoping to achieve that um, over the next couple of weeks.